So we've heard that exosomes cause growth, but do they cause cancer? Well, this was something I've been worried about since the beginning. If they're anti-inflammatory and they cause growth, what's going to happen? Fortunately, what's been happening in the last couple of months is literature has been coming out that tells us that a baby exosome does whatever a baby exosome does, and babies don't get cancer. Right. So in many cases, a cancer, not all, a cancer is because you've lost the expression of a gene. And like, say, pancreatic cancer, it's usually P53. If you put the message for P53 back, even though the cell isn't making it, the cell will start acting normally. Right. And so people can ta are taking myeloid tumors in a dish, putting an exosome in it, a baby exosome, and the myeloid tumor stops growing. So uh, others are doing that same type of thing with liver exosomes and giving a tyrosine kinase inhibitor at the same time, and the tumor actually starts to retract. So um, they do not cause cancer, and in fact, in, when you have a certain type of cancer, they could resolve it. However, other types of cancers, they could make it worse. So it's such important, as? such as one that is, is, is replicating rapidly and does have that machinery in, in place. If something, we don't want to grow vasculature in a tumor that's already there, and it, it's not as a cause of P53. So you would have to look at the genetics of the tumor before you treat. Okay. So you can't, you should not treat patients with cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I was going to ask right. because that's on the contraindication. Right. But it's Let not going to cause cancer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So here's another question. I had a patient come in and she says, well, how do you know if I have cancer if I don't have cancer? And then I do this and then it spreads the cancer. So she's saying, you know, I feel healthy. I know I'm healthy. I've gone and done all the tests. But what if there's that small percentage that something's Well, growing? I mean, there's a small percentage that you're going to eat a peanut and and die because your immune system is one of those 0.01% that recognizes it and, uh, and causes an issue. Um, right now, I think that there isn't a risk. I am creating this diagnostics company so that I can 100%, well, it'll never be 100%, hmm. but right. that I, guess I, can, <laughs> I can try to assure you that you don't have anything going on. But certainly, if you're worried about it, you should see your oncologist and have yourself tested. I mean, it's, it's a good thing to do anyway. Right. 